Okay, so I guess I'm going to be unboxing today the Final Fantasy XIV Shiva statue. I bought this quite a while ago, but I just never got around to unboxing it. You can see it's still in its original like the wrapper. This is the box. It's actually extremely light, this box. It's like, it feels like there's nothing inside at all. So I hope they ship me something. Um, it has like a little window in the front. It contains a bunch of, uh, what is it, lore? And also it gives you kind of like a look. And what's inside the box? And I'll try to get it on the camera somehow. I don't know if the cap can see actually the text. I don't know. I don't know if this GoPro is good enough. So you can see the text, and you can see the stuff inside the box. I mean, you can barely see it. I guess you could just confirm that the sword is like you know attached to it, because I see some people have their swords like break off. Um, Otherwise, the box is kind of plain. So, it's all black here. Some warnings on the back. And then it's basically right down up there. Uh, on the bottom, there's something like there's some extra warnings and stuff. So, that's pretty much it for the box. Let's open it up. I have my scissors here this time. Alright. <clears throat> take the take the lid off here. Mm. So I guess inside the box is like some sort of like you know Winter Wonderland decoration kind of thing going on. Stuff. I don't think it's the box. Uh, uh, inside all this plastic, there's some plastic that's protecting it. Here's the actual statue. Now, where's my Shiva emote? Where does that go? Well, anyways. Wow. I guess I need to put the camera on. It looks quite delicate. Uh, the part with the knife, or the blade, sorry, the sword, is kind of like covered in some tape, so I have to remove that tape in a bit. But that's pretty much it. I'll let me get the macro camera or something, and we can do some, maybe some close ups a bit later. But this is just it out of the box. Okay, well, let's get the close up camera and get some better lighting, I guess. The sun kind of just flew away behind a cloud as I was filming. So, because this figurine is so uh, spiky and has so many protruding parts it's really difficult to get like a close-up macro shot of it because the camera can't really fit into like so close to all the areas of the figure but anyways here's the, the face and i'll probably try to drag the camera the, the figurine around to get the best shot and then here's the fingers a little ring on the finger is there oh no that's just part of the clothes i think yeah yeah there's no ring See, it's very difficult to get it in focus. But here's the rest of the body. And the legs. Try to get a shot of the boot, but the boot's kind of hidden within the ice structure. So here, here's the boot. There's a little ice uh, snowflake design on, on the boots pretty cool and then here's the other side of the other leg uh, I left a little bit, bit of tape on the, the hand because the hands a bit fragile and I didn't want to like mess it up when I'm trying to film this thing so I take that off after filming but here's the tape that it comes with just to support this little sword and the sword, yeah, the sword's hard to get a macro shot of. I mean, but the sword, I feel like it's, it's well it's detailed, but it, I guess it doesn't have any painted accentuations. But yeah, everything else, look at all these little uh, poking out ribbon bits, makes it hard for the camera to get close to. 
here's a little metal piece from the ribbon. Um, don't know if I could get a shot of the back easily because the camera cannot get that close to the figurine. But here's what the back kind of looks like. The hair and all the ribbons coming from the back. So yeah, I'm kind of colliding with the camera now. Uh, let's see what else. We have the hair. Bicycle hair. And I mean, I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, very well detailed body. Uh, lots of poking out parts. Makes it very like looks like there's a lot of movement. And within the box, it comes with a, a code for an emote. So let's take a look at that. All right. So it looks like my mail came in from the mock station. Get our ballroom adequate diamond dust because diamonds are forever, as is dust. So let me just clean out my my mails because I'm at 20 out of 20. Okay. Anyways, uh, let's see. Here it is. The description in the bottom right, and let's use it. See what it looks like. One second, how do I turn it on? I'm a derp. Uh, it's Ice Heart <laughs> slash Ice Heart. Uh, kind of ends abruptly. All these uh. You know, Mog Station emotes look kind of flashy, but they just kind of like, you know, they just stop at the end. Like, derp, I'm done. Well, anyways, I guess that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.